I do DL's t- uh, radio show. Yes. DL Hughley is not there. His team is there. Mm-hmm. And Shannon, we having a great time. I mean, baby, we having a great time. We going forth, back and forth. When we get to the end of the show, they say, <coughs> Monique, you want to play a game? Well, I want to play. I said, sure, Shaka. Let's play a game. And it's a game called Would You Rather. Oh. Okay? Now. Mona, you already, you should have said, I'm too old for this game. Wait a minute. We're having fun, baby. <laughs> right? We're having a good time, okay. Shannon. Okay. Would you rather your husband sleep with Lee Daniels with a condom or Corinne Steffens without one? Really, Monique? Now, as y'all are watching right now who haven't heard this story, y'all going, oh, they doing the same thing in the studio. They going, oh, okay. That is exactly what happened. Now, the sister, and her name is Jasmine. How could you ask another sister that? Well, we just planned. I said, tell me the joke in that because I don't know what you're insinuating. Then you're involving people that have nothing to do with nothing. I called D.L. Hughley on the phone. I say, hey, baby. Yeah. Huh? That's how he responds. Yeah. Did he know it was you? Yes, he, because they called him to tell him, no, Monique's going to be calling. Right. Like this, it was getting crazy. Right. I'm like, just let me get on the phone with my brother. I said, DL, how does that uplift our community? And again, I don't know what y'all trying to insinuate, but brother, what you doing? Like I said, that's just how we do it. So it is what it is. Now, it got so ugly that my attorney had to send a cease and desist. So it never aired. So we have like... When Cat Williams talk and people, truth tellers talk, we have receipts to everything. Now we saying. have a show in Detroit. Contractually, I was the headliner. D.L. Hughley posted a memo. Now, when you signed your deal for the Ravens, did you sign a contract? Touch me a little different because I was saying, why would you lie to our babies? Because now they're thinking if they send somebody a memo, that's what they're supposed to get. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was contractually signed to go as the headliner. Right. I mean, you go last. D.O. Hughley didn't come into the building until 930. Now, contractually, I said I have to be on stage by 930 because if the show starts at 8, I refuse to keep an audience waiting. Right. That is disrespectful to the Correct. audience. Correct. When I went out on that stage, Shannon, I made sure everything I said, he heard me because now you're here and I'm going to say it to you. Mm-hmm. And I said there was one left out the pack. And when you have people that continually... Don't take accountability. That's why you see us in the state of affairs we're in. Yeah. No brother, we still me. love you. Just take accountability for it. And we move forward. And then when you have our some of our black folk that go sit in front of a white man and speak ill of their people, I'm like, y'all, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um... So Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders Played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It it's also befuddles the of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much everybody else as she does she has the temerity to be offended about anything as much as you say about people then she encouraged everybody uh, allegedly it stems from the fact that i used to always talk about her on video after video and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them do that do exactly what she says and you know what you're not going to find you're not going to find any evidence evidence of that because monique is a liar she's lying about that but what you will find is Monique talking about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad 
even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying mother. She knows she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family. Videos with her children or grandchildren. Because nobody me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies. Not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people. Except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she goes, everywhere she goes, how is it that nobody you, not even your family? How do you, well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every week. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And the way it's been going in 2024, I got to pop it like V's do. This game ain't for the week, man. As you see right here, it's all the way turned up with D.L. Hughley going directly at Monique and taking it all the way there. After her new interview dropped on Club Shay Shay podcast, where she went into depth and called out several other people, and his was one of the names. And I had a link in the description where you could watch that clip before it and get the entire context, because it was a lot more mentioned, a lot more stuff explained, and it was way longer. And i tell you like this right here, bro. It's really going all the way down there through it now. Now, they had already had their issues back in the past. The main one I remember, because I don't remember that radio station part that she spoke about where D.L. Hughley said, nah, she called me, said that she was offended. We took that down. We pulled that back. So what is she talking about? She lying. But if they ask that question, bro, that is a wild question to ask anybody. I'm not in comedy. So when I do an interview with somebody, don't even sex play me at all. I don't play them type of games. And I can understand. And that's the thing. I guess it's like a slippery slope. Monique is older, so I would never, even if you are a comedian, I'm not even going to play with your husband or your better half like that. We're going to keep it cool. Like, I, I'm a, I ask you some wild stuff for the little jokey game, but taking it there and sex playing on your husband with a man or something, nah, we ain't going to even do no stuff like that. But I don't know what was actually said. He didn't say this. They didn't say that. He said that they pulled it back. But that wasn't D.L. Hughley. That was somebody at the show that worked for that work at the show or every or something like that. But he said that was that. But I do remember the issue going down at the comedy show where it was the headliner argument a few years ago. And I was doing YouTube at that time, so I remember that. That was like maybe three years ago, if I ain't mistaken. And that led to all the way all over the place. And that's why D.L. Hughley had got fed up and said, hey, I ain't rocking with Monique no more. My daughter got brought up. My family got brought up. He said, I'm solid. I ain't moving like that. Now, I do got to say this for D.L. Hughley on this one part, dog. That nigga said that, oh, Club Shay Shay turned into Wendy Williams. Now, nah, it's getting messy and da 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 And I'm like, bro, nigga, you be on Vlad, nigga. He believes in the same type of uh, stock thing, nigga. It's content or die over there, nigga. We going all the way through there, nigga. We going to go viral and die trying. He looking to go viral and ask the Mexican questions, nigga. So you participate in that same type of time when it comes to doing interviews. It just is what it is. I most definitely speak on these things that go viral and give my opinion on them and things of that nature. But y'all, that nigga is over there asking them type of questions, looking for the chaos, looking for the controversy too. So when he threw that out there, I was like, oh, nah. 
about, nigga. You be on Vlad. Nigga, he didn't even ask you about Monique. I remember that back in the game, nigga, when, her, when Monique and him had the little stuff going on. And I remember he was, like, trying not to answer, but Vlad threw it out there still. So, nah, he does that, nigga. He don't give a damn. He'll go down through there. So, that's that. And I tell you like this, bro. They entertain us. They comedians. Monique felt the need to get her stuff off her chest. She been saying she be getting wronged in the industry for years. I tell you like this right here, bro. It's better to resolve things behind the scenes. But if somebody ain't giving you no act right and ain't running your name publicly through the mud, I most definitely believe in you getting things together. They crossing you out, dogging you out. Most definitely speak your piece. But man, once it gets to the internet, it be hard to really solve issues and problems. I don't know Monique personally, bro. I don't know D.L. Hughley personally. Nigga grew up watching both of their TV shows. Let's keep it all the way a thousand, bro. To me, it's like that. Y'all really kind of too old. Not y'all ain't old. I don't want to disrespect it, but y'all kind of too old to just be on this joint arguing and going back and forth like this. Like, like y'all in middle school or high school or young mother. Like, y'all really up. Like, I was watching y'all on y'all sitcom, the D.L. Hughley show, and um, the Parkers when I was a kid. And then all the stand-up companies. But Monique say, hey, man, he part of that circle, too. He didn't get mentioned when Cat Williams was doing his rant. He should have been put as part of one of the niggas in the clique because he died with the crew. They'd be boxing everybody out, I guess, and, like, you know, playing the gatekeeper role to a certain extent. I don't know, bro. They turned up. Ain't nobody going to get hurt off of it. They going to pop their little issue. Monique got a comedy background. They all entertainers, comedians, and actors in Hollywood. It's just, man, this the what a point they got to. We got niggas and females going at it. We got... Young and, and older people going at it. Far, it's just getting real, real hectic now in 2024, man. But tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.